Good morning, viewers. This is the Colonel speaking to you live from the Grange for British Imperial YouTube Broadcasting. Today we're going to demonstrate the Neophone Home Recording Device, patented um, about 1905, something like that. And unfortunately, Neophone went bust in 1906, so they sold out to Edison Bell, and that's why the box says Edison Bell. However, the attachment or device, here it is. Right, what we've got to do is that slips underneath the speed control there, like so. We then use a, put an attachment over the spindle, there we are, with the pin on it. Line up the device there, put the device to the beginning. Winder, I don't have the recording horn, I should say, and reproducer, but they just bolt onto this device, onto the travelling arm, which works, as you may see, by a couple of bevel gears. There you go. That's the mechanism. And there's the support for the horn and the uh, recording head. You know, it's a bit like a reproducer on a, on a phonograph. And there we go. And as you can see, the carriage is travelling along the arm there, as it would, of course, across the record. There were pre-grooved records which you could record on, but they were slightly later. These records would have been presumably covered in a sort of shellac, or wax perhaps, and you would record directly onto them. There you go, this is the first home recording device, 1906. Up till that time, of course, you could always record on your cylinders and then shave them off again. But this was the first design for the disc record. I don't know if we can see that there, as it says on there. Neophone home recorder. And on the other side it says System Dr. Michaelis, who was the man who originally, I believe, had something to do with G&T, but later went and set up a Neophone. And then went bust. <laughs> Another success story, viewers. There you go, as you can see that it's travelling along the carriage there. That's better. And that's how it works. Thank you viewers, and goodbye.